okay you guys happy wednesday i am working on a dashboard i have to prepare and get some things updated for a call that i have later on today in about two hours this dashboard is just a template we're trying okay so there is some sensitive data that we don't have access to or that i don't have access to in the database it's restricted to who can access this information totally get it however i feel like it's important to my job and my role but they still won't give me access to it so we're trying to get them to build a dashboard get this team to put in a dashboard format with the data in all the different metrics that we need for our job to make it easier so we're not having to go to 10 different places if they could put it in one place however in talking with my so I'm building this template out with how we'd like the dashboard to look and I'm meeting with a couple of people on my team in a couple hours to review it however the issue is that in talking with my manager yesterday we're trying to get this data also for another tool this sensitive information and we were told that it's not going to happen and and this is something our senior director wants us to get but it's just like I don't see it being possible to get this information in a dashboard the way that we want it when we're being told no so many different places so I'm gonna have a dis discussion with them today like should we still pursue this because we're being told no like I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to waste their time either if this isn't going like if like we don't have so to speak a shot in hell of this happening like I don't want to waste my time continuing to build on this template make modifications if eventually we're just going to be told no you know but that's what I'm working on and then my manager there's a call at 3 30 that she's not able to attend that she wants me to go and provide an update on results I'm just like ugh, I don't want to talk to people like I don't I, I, I just don't I don't want to talk to people I don't enjoy presenting I'm an introvert this is my worst nightmare I don't want to do it is where I'm at. Let me build my dashboards, let me write my code and leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> but we have to talk to the people. All right. So yeah, I, I know the numbers It's just I don't want to talk to people about it. Like let it be. All right. But let me continue to build this and get some feedback from them, I guess. So I'm building this dashboard in Tableau. But yesterday I attended what is what is it called? We have these little meetings where we discuss things that are advancing within in technology within the data science space that kind of thing so I recently started joining those calls and some of the things that we're going to be discussing further is kind of like AI aka large language models and then also some of the things we're discussing is tools like data visualization tools like Tableau and our company is moving away from Tableau they want us to focus on using click which I don't understand why I or I, I'll say I didn't understand why they want us to switch to click I thought it was be, probably because of the cost of the licenses but the licenses for click is just as expensive you know so it's not that but on the call someone mentioned um, the guy that led the call he mentioned that the reason and why is because of the capabilities of the tool and how Tableau isn't updating their product as much as Click does or have as much capability for what we need. So that's why the business is kind of moving away from that. So just a note to all of you that are starting out and wanting to learn data. I don't know if Click, hold on. I don't know if Click has a free tool like Tableau does, like you can get like a Tableau public to learn how to use it but just keep in mind like Tableau isn't the only data visualization tool that um, companies use like you like we don't use Power BI but other companies do so look at other tools look at Tableau is what I primarily have been using but I'm gonna start I used to use click when we first got it a few years ago but I didn't like it and maybe because it was new and I didn't know how to use it as much but I used it for a while and built dashboards in there for a while and I go in there every once in a while but I still primarily stick with what I know and what I'm comfortable with which is Tableau so I do need to get back into Click because if they come to us and they're like yeah we're shutting down Tableau this year I'm gonna be SOL so that just gave me a push to say yeah let me focus on learning click and understanding it a bit more and start building in there again you know building what they call apps like yeah I need to use it more often than I do but some other people I know that they're like oh I'm gonna use looker 
but primarily people are trying to move to click and I'm sorry I'm so close up because I was zoomed in yeah but primarily people are going to be moving to click I, I don't know but if I find out if there's like a free version that you can practice and learn on I'll let you know and link it below if not I don't know what to say other than like watch videos and tutorials um, about click just so you know another tool okay let me get back into my tableau dashboard Right. good morning everybody happy what is this tuesday it's the day after mlk day and the inauguration i'm working from home this week because it's just free well i'm working from home this week it's gonna be freezing cold all week and i just i can't i'm not leaving the house to go into the office in this freezing cold i will not it's like what 15 degrees outside right now not happening I'll see them next week in the office. Friday before I left the off, before I logged off from work, we got this request from our senior director that we needed to pull some numbers and group results for employees because uh, we have one of the outside vendors that we work with whose products we sell. They we need to launch a, pro a project for their product. They have a new product coming out for the month of February. Well, I think it comes out in January, but we won't be pushing sales for it until February. So we're trying to launch an initiative. So what we're going to do is look at sales over the past year for their products and see how they've been doing. We need to go through setting targets for our employees. That's what I'm working on is I got some data from our finance team. I need to look at that data. It's in Excel. Like I keep telling y'all, learn it, sell y'all. Seem to be worried about, oh, I need to learn SQL. Oh, I need to learn uh, Tableau or data. Learn Excel first because that's probably the tool that you'll work in every day. Like you may not always have to write code. You may not always have to work in like a data visualization tool, but I feel like mo most of us are doing something in Excel at some point in the day. And it's how we share data back and forth between us and our stakeholders or clients, whatever. That's how we communicate and speak the same language in an Excel file. So I feel like it's important for you guys to learn Excel. So stop worried about SQL first if you're not really good at Excel. And being good at Excel is subjective. You know, like people are like, well, I know how to do calculus like adding and subtract that's not being good at Excel okay it's not let me get off my soapbox but what I what I did Friday is I did some I did some calculations and I also did a pivot table I did some if statements so I asked finance for some additional data for like Q4 of 2024 and they sent that over in addition to the original data that I asked them for and the numbers aren't like the numbers in the second file don't match I don't know why it's so much higher so I need to wait for the finance guy that I got the data from I'm, I got he's on a different time zone so I have to wait until he's logged on to get clarification as to why these numbers for the time period like it's the same time frame but the numbers have changed from the first file to the second file that he sent me so don't know why that is I'm gonna work on some of the other things that our senior director asked us for. So I'm gonna work on that. And I also need to pull some numbers for results over the weekend, see how that went. No failed jobs, great, but I do need to change my password. I'm gonna wait for all of my jobs to run though. Like I have jobs that are automated and run daily. I'm gonna wait for those to run until I change my password because when you change a password, if you don't update everything, everything will fail and I don't want that to happen. So I'd rather just change my password after all of my jobs run. So remind me to do that. Actually, let me write that in my planner. Oh, cause you have to update it in your dashboard. 
I have a I have a document saved that tells me everything I or I listed everything I need to change my password in when I change my password so I can pull that out and reference it but so let me do that and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm. 